Ah, il m'a fait. taking the 23 stanza of chapter 18 Srimad Bhagavad Gita. In this stanza, the Satguru, Satchitananda Paramatma, Lord Krishna is telling about the goodness, karmas, goodness functions and their characteristics. Niyatam sangarahitam ragadveshataha kritam Afala prep sunaha karma yat sattvika muchyate word by frication niyatam sangarahitam aragadveshataha kratam afala prep sunaha karma yatatat satvikam ujyate my dear arjun yat that karma duty niyatam fixed or confirmed by the holy books or holy method which is provided by gurus sang rahitam without attachment as a doer or without pride of doing afal pratsuna by without of wish of the karma's fruits or karma's result. Arag Advaishita without attachment and without hate. Kritam performed tat that satvikam goodness karma uchyate recognized as my dear Arjun that karmaj according to the holy instructions of holy books which is written or which is teach by the Atma Gyani Gurus enlightenment enlightened Sadgurus and without ego of doing doerness and desireless of result of karmas without attachment without hate 
और जेलस दैट परफॉर्म्ड कर्मास कार्ड सात्विका और गुडनेस कर्मास सतगुरु सचिदानंद परमात्मा द ओनली एंड ओनली कॉन्शियसनेस ऑफ द मिलियंस गैलेक्सीज अनकाउंटेबल विच इज कॉन्चैनिंग the billions the universe is and miraculous fact is that even he is spread all over the uncountable billions galaxies but he is only presence even he is presence in a particle he is omnipotent omnipresent almighty but miraculous thing he is the ocean of the mercy he is the ocean of the love he is only the life and the light of all the creation that satguru came in the form of human body and standing in front of arjuna the krishna was a complete master with having all the powers of the universes he wa he has all the good qualities and the greatest powerfulness of all the avatars of lord vishnu you remember the krishna is the maha vishnu the krishna is the maha deva shiva and krishna put the hanuman on the flag of arjun's ratha my dear friends how lucky was arjun the master of billions and countable universe came and be, become his driver and is a master also. so it is proof that you surrender yourself under the driving of the master satguru that the destination will sure come i want to tell about two things when the jayadrath was killed by arjuna the time was stop up on that time when the karna was shooting arrows on arjuna the krishna save arjuna because that arrows was very fiery arrows was very powerful so the master is the greatest savior in this world i remember a very short story of the mahabharata the karna was uh, shooting the arrows on the cart on the rath the horse cart 
of Arjuna. And the car, the cart was pushing only five or ten feet away. But when the Arjun shoot the arrows, the Karna's cart pushed 100, 200, 400 meters away. And Krishna was not clapping at that time when Arjun was shooting the arrows. But when the Karna was shooting the arrows, Krishna was clapping and admiring. Oh Karna, you are great warrior. So Arjun was jealous. And Arjun asked to the Krishna, why are you admiring the Karna? Even he is not able to push my wrath 10 feet more, more than 10 feet. So Krishna tell, have a patience. I will give you this answer. I will explain this answer. When the Karna was killed and the battle of the Mahabharata was end, the first thing the Krishna do, he tell, he, he, he pulled out the horses, four horses. Because they were they was they, they were divine horses, and then the Krishna request to the Hanuman come out from the flag of the cart. And he told to the Arjuna, Arjun, please stand much distance away from this cart. And what is miracle, what is a wonderful phenomena is happened at that time. The cart was blasted and burning very highly. So the Arjun asked to Krishna, Oh my God, what happened? Krishna tell, this is your answer. Because the arrows of Karnas, they are most powerful. But I am sitting on your cart, having the weight of the three Lokas. And Hanuman is sitting on your flag with all his power and the divinity. And these four horses, they are the divine horses from the heaven, that is the Indra's horses. And so that's why you are saved. Otherwise, if I, I am not there, if the Hanuman not there, divine horses not there, and one thing is very secret because the Sheshanaga was catching the wheel of the that cart. Sheshanaga, thousand hood, most divine snake. It is the indirect form of Lord Vishnu. My dear friends, it is not false story. I am telling to you, it is not a gossip. So the Sadguru is the greatest savior of this world. I am feeling the love of my Sadguru in my heart. My Sadguru has given his name to me, Swami Sachidananda. The Swami Sachidananda is the highest name of this universe. Because that is the prime name and Sadguru given me this name. You can imagine how much he loves me. 
and my Sadhguru is Satchidananda Dhanandha Paramatma. So, in this stanza, the Sadhguru is telling about the goodness activities or goodness karmas, Sattvika karmas, to the Arjuna. The first condition of that karmas, they must be according to the master's teaching. If a person is doing the karma according to the master's teaching and with full of love, affection in the feet of the master with the surrender, that is topest goodness karma. And second condition of the goodness karma, there must be no ego of the doer. Always remember that you are not doer. The nature is doer. You are only the witness. You are only the sakshi. You are only the seer. And third thing is that You have no desire of the fruits or the result of the karmas. So, one thing, according to the instruction of the Master Sadguru or holy books which is written by the Masters, second thing is that no ego of doing, third thing is that no wish of any result, good or bad, sin our goodness. So that karmas. If without the attachment and without the hate and without his own desire, he do the work, he do the karma in the service of his master. That is sattvika karma. That is goodness karma. My dear friends, that karmas come in the two conditions. If the doer must be a seeker and the highest lover of his master. And second is that he is the real lover of the God. He must be the lover like a mirror. He must be lover like a prahlad, a dhruva. He must be a lover like the aruni and so on. Oh, I want to say about Mother Shabri, he must be lover like Mother Shabri. When a person is the greatest lover of the God or greatest lover of the Satguru, automatically his karma becomes the Satvika because he never want anything. He only want to service of his master. He only love with the Sadguru. He only love with the God. And he are he he all the time. He is all the time. Sink in the love of the master and love of the God. The internal state of the living change by this love. That is the supreme lover of the God. They alive for the Master, they eat for the Master, they sleep for the Master, 
they work for the master, they talk for the master, they live for the master, they are the future achiever of Atma Jnana or the liberation. Oh, I want to salute that persons, they are very, very great person and beautiful person of this universe. As I describe you, the lovers of God. I want to tell some Sattvika function or Sattvika karma persons in the history of ancient Indian mythology. I, I first take the Sutikshana. The Sutikshana but a great lover of his Sadguru, but he has only one big point. He cannot control his hunger because he is very, very fond to eat fruits, sweets and other things. That is the Jivatma's some mistakes time to time. But after some time, that mistake will be eradicated. So Sutikshan was in the service of the Sadguru and Sadguru ordered to the Sutikshan, Mr. Sutikshan, my dear son Sutikshan, go the special destination when I, where I am coming after two hours, three hours. You go and make all the arrangement of the worship there. The masters, they are very merciful, they go to the other lovers of the God and they do worship as they are status of the God, lovers of the God. So the Sutikshan take all the goods in a bag and there is the thorn of the God and the Shaligram, it means the round round shaped stone, black stone that is called Shaligram and that is equal to Lord Vishnu in the worship. So Sutikshan is coming in the bank of a big river and the, in the bank of a big river there is was all sand, there is no any stone. And Sutikshan was hungry in the path because the path was some miles long two or three miles, four miles maybe, maybe more. So Sutikshan, see, in the bank of the river there was a tree of the Jamuna. I don't know the name English, Jamuna. Jamuna is the equally shaped like a black, like a black stone, round, uh, silky and smooth black stone like. So Sutikshan take the saligram and throw and the jamun was pulled down and Sutikshan was eating that jamun. One or two times Sutikshan do that and third time what happened that, ja that jamun was fall down in the earth and the saligram idol was sink in the water. The water was very deep. The water was very deep and there is no possibility to search that idol of Shalikram. So Sutikshan think, what can I do? My master will be angry and oh my God, what can I do? So Sutikshan play a trick. He put a Jamuna fruit in the place of the Shaligrama and he make all the arrangement of the worship. His master came and he performed the puja 
and he was giving the bath to the Shaligrama and naturally he was uh, pushing his thumb on the, that idol, some, making some pressure. So what happened? The seed of the Jamuna was pushed like a ball and that the flesh and the, that uh, and the uh, epidermis and mesodermis of that fruit was came in the hand of master. Master asked to the Sutikshan, where is Shaligrama? Huh? So the Sutikshan tell to the master, what I can say, you are day to day, every day, you put in the water on the Shaligrama and Shaligrama was decay. What I can do? Sudikshan, master knows. Sudikshan was a hungry person and he eat the jamun and lost the shaligrama. So the master become angry and master said to Sudikshan, go and search the Rama and come with Rama. Otherwise do not come. That was the great mercy of the master on Sudikshan. Sudikshan was come in awareness, oh my God, what happened, what I do? And he, he go away in the forest and he start the meditation and he start calling the Rama. The month passed, the years passed, the many, many years passed. The Rama came in the forest to fulfilling his father's wish and Suti Chanbas continually meditating and crying for Rama and calling the Rama. So Suti Chanbas not opening the eyes. Rama make a trick and the image of Rama in the heart of the Sutikshana that was disappeared for a second. And Sutikshana was very, very uh, unpleasant and he opened the eyes. The Rama is standing in front of Sutikshana. Sutikshana Bhaji missed. He put his finger on eyes, oh, Rama is there, here Rama. He was crying like a child and his, all the pores of the hairs of the skin was brilled, stand like the fruit of a fannas or katahal. The tears coming from the eyes in love and he fell down in the feet of Rama. Rama take the Sutikshan up and hug the Sutikshan tightly with the great divine love. And he asked to the Sutikshan, I want to go your master's ashram, please. Will you take me there? Sukti Chan say, Oh yes, of course. That is my master's will that he told me. You bring the Rama, otherwise do not come in my ashram. Sukti Chan Bad running forward and Rama was going behind Sutikshana. That was goodness doer. Sutikshana was the goodness doer. Now I will tell you second example of Shabri, Mother Shabri. When the master of Mother Shabri Matanga was leaving his body, 
He giving the assurance to the Shabri mother, don't worry, the Ram will come and you will be liberate in this life. You will not come again in the birth because you serve me very, very nice. You are my greatest service person and you are my disciple. The Sabri has a, has a faith on his master's word. So what happened? Every day, every day in the morning, very early, Shabri awake and clean all the path where from the Ram is Ram will become in the Matang Rishi Ashram because the master told they will, he will come with his brother Lakshman. My dear friend, then Savri goes to the near forest and take the bring the flowers and make the flower carpet in the path of the master Rama. And bring food every day for the prasad of the Rama, for the Rama and praying, crying. But Rama not came many many days. She was never give up all these practices. That is the sattvika karma. Then Ram came. Ram not came until the Shabri was doing the same thing. And the late night, she take some fruits from her prasad, which is collect for the Rama, and she was asleep. And she again awoke in early in the morning. That was the routine of the Shabri. When the Ram came, Shabri was seeing the path of the Ram. And when the Shavri see the Ram, his eyes was full of tears. Because she was the great lover of the God. Ram came, Sit down in the front of the Sabri. Ram give the treatment Sabri like his own mother. Sabri was thinking, if I give the fruit and fruit was not proper in the test, maybe the fruit bitter, maybe the fruit salty, I will provide my Rama, only the sweet fruits. So she was tasting every fruit and giving to the Rama and Rama was eating the fruits which is tested by the Shavri. Rama never eat the tested food, even his mother or father. So you can imagine that how merciful the existence for his lovers and the seekers. And Rama giving the teachings of nine Life of the devotion in the feet of the God. And Rama told to the Savri, the topest class and the first class devotion and the love of the God is that Pratham Bhagati Santan Kar Sangha. You live with the Master, that is the first type of devotion and first type of the divine love. My dear friend, 
I already described the story of Aruni in my previous discourse, but I want to tell in the short the Dhom Marishi. his master giving the order Aruni go and save our nursery of rice water must not be come in the nursery otherwise all the plants will be washed away Aruni do every effort but he was filled and at the last he was laid down on the border of that nursery and his body become harder and harder by the coolness of the water and continuous laying in the water that was the goodness karma I want to tell only the service of the master is the topest goodness karma and the love in the God and if you sink in the love of the God completely and when you do any karma that is the goodness karma. A thousand thousand of examples Of the goodness karma, you can read the story of the wife of Bidur and Bidur himself and the many many devotees of the Krishna at that time and Meera. You all of you know the Meera. Every karma of the Meera was goodness karma and Ravidas. Kavir, Nanak, Dadu, Paltu, Namdev, Gorakh, Matsendra, Bhartari. When they was not enlightened, they was the disciple of their master. You can see their karmas was the topest goodness karmas. All the Skills which is telling Sadhguru, Satchidananda, Paramatma, Lord Krishna and they are completely fit in the goodness karma. Because if you are full of love with the master, you cannot do wrong. Because you have no time to do anything wrong. If by the way or by the mistake anything will wrong by you and that will be right. So the extremely devotees and lovers of the God, they always do the goodness karma. They live for the Sadhguru, they live for the God, they do for the God, they do not do themselves, they do all things for the God. So. It is, I am very, very thankful to all of you because giving these discourses, I am also the feeling the same in my heart and I feeling that greatest ananda to remember that great persons. Even I am always Ananda, but this is a good occasion that I am telling about the Sattvic Karma, goodness Karma. It is a very, very special subject. So, the goodness Karma brings peacefulness. The goodness Karma brings tensionlessness. My dear friend, the topest goodness karma is the meditation of awareness Sakshi. If you want to do meditation awareness of Sakshi, there is no any ego of doer. There will be no any 
result oriented efforts there will be always the teaching according to the teaching of the Sadhguru because every Sadhguru want his disciple do the Sakshi meditation if he is real Sadhguru because the Sakshi meditation is the real meditation my dear friend if you will do the Sakshi meditation within three or four months you will see inside you will become a tensionless person and you will become a peaceful person so this tensionlessness is a bunch of many fruits they are glorifying your life because the tensionless never worried tensionless is fearless Tensionless is always pleasant. Tensionless is never caught in the sorrow or mesmerism of the Maya. So what will be result? What will be goodness? That all the diseases which is coming by the tension, they are tension create diseases. They will not come in your life, in your physical body. The angina, heart attack, blood pressure, brain hemorrhage, diabetes and many many diseases, organ failure, sleeping disorder, mental disorder, they will not come in your life. So the Sakshi meditation is the prevention and vaccination of tension created diseases. So please if many many person and more and more person and maximum person will do this meditation then you can imagine we can save the trillions of dollars which is we are wasting in the physical physical hospitals which or oh, general hospitals and operation and other and medicine and other you all knows the patient of blood pressure take every day the tablets. You all know the patient of diabetes take insulin and every day pills. But if you do the Sakshi meditation, then you will prevent from all the diseases. Even if you are in these diseases, you will be get great relief. The saving of this lot of money we can use in the welfare of the weaker sections, poor persons, needy persons, homeless persons, clothless persons, foodless persons and educationless persons. And we can save the pet animals, wild animals, we can save the forests of this world and we can save the impurity and pollution in the rivers also by this money. We can take many, many projects by this save, saved money. Second thing is that a person will do the Sakshi meditation. He has no fear, no phobia. He has no guilt, no mania. He has no imagination, hypothetical, no anangenia, no schizophrenia. He has no depression. He has no societal attack. So we can save the millions and millions of dollars, billions and billions of dollars, which is we are expending in the mental hospitals and the mental case will be reduced. Third thing, a person will do the Sakshi meditation of awareness. He will be awareness. He will be very keen. When the anger will come, he can see the anger and save himself from the anger. So the anger creating crime. So the crime which is coming in the result of the anger, cutting, killing, fighting, it is a, they will be reduced, they will become near about zero. When a person 
which is doing the Sakshi meditation, the same thing he is, his intellect divine and can see everything, the lust will come, he detached from lust, he will never attack to our women, the mothers, sisters, daughters, our the goddesses, they will be saved. And the crime against women will be reduced. The crime against women, they will be become zero. And then what will be happen? We can save the lot of the money in the courts, judicial procedure, police and other and other infrastructure. And we can make this world happy. Pleasant, peaceful and brotherhood. A person which is doing the Sakshi meditation of awareness, his awareness can see the black money or the robbery and robbery and other economical crime he will not do. So the economic of the world will be not only boost by the saving, the loss of money by any this type of meaning, but the morality will come from inside of every person. My dear friend, it is a miraculous meditation. We can change this world completely by this meditation. So, I accept a mission in the behalf of all of you that a mission is world peace by meditation and meditation of awareness. This is the meditation of awareness. Please help me. Please come with me. Please help to build up, build up a very good international meditation center. We want to produce thousand thousand of teachers of meditation and many many masters from all over the world. I want to do not put this treasure only on me. I don't want to make monopoly. I want to spread this knowledge all over the world. I want to spread this knowledge all over the world as we give the scientific invention in the welfare like a CFL, refrigerator, televisions, computer, etc. So it is also a a spiritual invention of our holy masters. My dear friend, if you like my discourse, please subscribe my channel on YouTube. The name of channel is Swami Sachidananda Indo. Thank you very much. Love you very much. Bless you very much. We are one love. We are one light. We are one soul. We are one existence. Thank you.